Newspapers are full of the problems of Nigeria. People want change and stability. One man can solve Nigeria's problems. Shiu Yaradua. He has an action plan to provide a better life for all Nigerians. Yaradua. To unite Nigeria around a new national purpose that guarantees every Nigerian clean water, enough food to eat, better housing and health care, improved education and jobs for all. We have decided to follow Jaradwa to a new national purpose. Jaradwa for change and stability. Jaradwa for president. Nigeria, that is neither north, north, south, west, 
no easy time. But dedicated to God with a common good for all. Ultimately, however, it is leadership that gives that give life to dream, meaning to vision, and action to perceptions. This is the reason why we have worked and shall continue to work tirelessly, openly, and fearlessly to create the basis for the rebuilding of all truly democratic and nationalistic forces. <laughs> what we need today is a leadership that is selfless and just, firm and decisive, humane and caring, experienced and wise. In the light of the foregoing, ladies and gentlemen, I offer my humble self to you all in my unshakable faith that this nation deserves a leadership that will ensure a stable civil quality, a necessary agreement for every social and economic progress that the people of this country are yearning for and deserve. I hereby solemnly declare my intention to seek the nomination of my party, the Social Democratic Party, for the office of the President of America. They call him many things, leader, general, Nigeria's former number two, businessman, thinker, Tasida. All his life, Shio Yeratua has been a man of ideas, a man of action. He's a leader of men, skilled in government, successful in business. He is the one man who can lead Nigeria to a new national purpose. We have decided to follow Yeratua. A new national purpose, Jaradua for change and stability, Jaradua for president.
this military administration should present to the nation as a matter of urgency its political agenda and thus put to rest in the glorious speculations and arguments as to the meaning of brief. <laughs> Two, the administration must do all in its power to ensure that its tenure does not extend beyond the September 31st, 1994. But Mr. Chairman, I have also said in that committee that the power of the Federation, the power of this country, is not just the presidency. The presidency is merely the political arm of government. Not even the ex you know, it's merely the political arm of the executive arm of government. You have the president. Or the president say if you like to put it. <laughs> and what that arm does, it doesn't matter how many ministers, where they come from, is that they make policy, yes, but they don't execute it, Mr. Chairman. The bureaucracy execute that policy. And Mr. Chairman, I know, factual, and I will give the data to anybody who cares to come to my house. That in this country, the total bureaucracy of this country is controlled, 62% of it is controlled by one ethnic group, and it is not House of Rani. <laughs> and then, Mr. Chairman, then you have the security arm of government. That is the police and the SSS and so on. That, Mr. Chairman, that arm of government, 43% of it is controlled by five states out of 30. And they are not from the north, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, when you talk of the armed forces and so on and so forth, it's not controlled by the House of Flags. By any stretch of imagination, these are facts. And I will prepare, as I said, to back them for anybody who cares to see them. Now, if Mr. Chairman, we are talking of rotation, fine. I have asked in my committee, how do you rotate the economy of this country? <laughs> because there again, somebody in that committee said to me, well, if we have zones, then we can have directors of UAC, one from each zone. And I said, Mr. Chairman, that I'm not interested in what UAC does. It's a private company. I have no shares in it. But clearly, I have got shares in anything that the federal government has got shares in because I'm an Nigerian. And yet, 70% of all the federal investment from the central bank is located in two states of this federation. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, you know, how, how, I do not see, how does making me a director make my people share in that economy? So, 